You guys, my Bible for Tribulation Saints is published at Kindle. And this is a must read for anybody who wants to know the real news from 2012 to 2017. As most of you know, the evil Jesuits have been controlling the mainstream news. And you have not been getting major news items. In fact, there were several times where I literally saved the planet. And it's in Bible for Tribulation Saints. So like, I don't know if you can see this. But table of Contents. I'm going to just go ahead and read you the Table of Contents. Here's, it's a huge book. It's going to be about 1,500 pages in paperback. So um, let's just go back to, I'm going to read you the chapter headings and like give you a brief run through. Jesus Christ, 1227, 2011 to 214, 2012. Jesus Christ showed up when um, I and my men were having lots of problems and he actually rescued us. And I, when you read this, this is like reading a play told from my point of view and the point of view of Brent Spiner, who is a very good writer, by the way. Brent has a photographic memory and he's gifted with the ability to write using all of his senses. So when you read his narratives of what, his emails of what he went through, it's like actually experiencing it firsthand through him. He, he uses sight, smell, hearing, touch, t taste, everything to describe what he goes through. He's a really gifted writer. That's why I'm giving him co-author credit. Uh, so Jesus Christ showed up starting in 2012, which interestingly is exactly 400 years after the publication of the King James Bible, which was the last um, major English Bible printed. So it's like, it's like Jesus is just giving us a hint that he's adding to the canon now. Um, okay, so the first chapter is entitled Jesus Christ, and this just basically shows how he introduced himself to us when he started showing to us, showing up to us, and actually talking to us. The next chapter is entitled Satan, and, and, um, and basically at Church of Gale, we had a Valentine service. Satan showed up. Uh, that's all in here. It's all detail. It's told from the, like a, like a play, like you're reading dialogue. It's like reading a play of every major event that's happened that hasn't been reported on the news that should have been. Um, the next chapter is entitled Computers. Were, and basically what I did was I gave each chapter a title. You know, like when you go through the Bible, it, they keep the titles short like Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy. So I wanted to do the same thing. So basically you can look at the chapter title and kind of get an idea where the focus of the chapter is. So Jesus Christ one title, Satan, Computers, Jesus Doesn't Like Computers, uh, Barack Obama, uh, Barack Obama was murdered, that should have made news, he got replaced with his clone, it's all in here, um, Gail Cord Schuler, where Jesus talks about me being his favorite, S uh, Sandra Metcalf, the name of my sister who has betrayed me, and that's all in here, um, Keanu Reeves, where we had a conversation with Keanu Reeves and um, he was talking about his experiences with Lori McBride and such. And also it was his Gale dummy that escaped. It was like an android and it became the Gale android. She almost wiped out the planet. All that's in here. Uh, Skype, uh, another one, Church of Gale, where we talk about the Church of Gale spaceship which has got millions of people living on it. Jesus Christ built the spaceship. It got destroyed. And then my men re just recently rebuilt it. The Gale Android. I mean, none of this made the news. It should have. The Gale Android almost destroyed the planet. And li I, Brent Spiner and I literally saved planet Earth. That's all in here. And with a with a, it's like you're reading the play and it's like you you feel like when you read this narrative it's like you're literally there in the middle of the battle and um you'll get to see how that battle got resolved if you read god the father i i titled it god the father because um brent spiner actually made it up to heaven when we had our battle with the gale android and he got to see god the father and he's that's all in here and a description, and some of the angels got injured too in this battle. It was a, uh, it's all in here. Um, uh, Zach Knight, Zach Knight uh, became the Antichrist. He Satan resurrected him from hell. That's all in here. 
and some of his tactics and what he did to us when he was our enemy. Then I've got a title in a chapter titled in Rule 13. Rule 13 is the is Zach Knight's true love. And she uh, noticed how I and my men loved each other and she wanted to have that with her and Zach Knight. And it started causing problems for Zach Knight because she started crying and crying because she wanted Zach to love her and not just have sex with her. And he did love her, but he couldn't let Satan know. That's all in here. And we actually snooped into the Jesuit portal and got some interesting conversation tidbits in here, like with Angelina Ballerina before she became the Antichrist. And really, uh, really deep insights into the nature of evil and good. And the main, the reason I call it Bible for Tribulation Saints is because Jesus weighed in on all of these events. He would show up and counsel us. And I have his actual dialogue in there, what he, exactly what he said, word for word transcription of what he said. And he said a lot. And he, and so basically any major event where Jesus weighed in on it, it's in there. And I have Jesus's words in red letters. And certain Kindle devices, like if you look at this on an iPad or I think an iPhone, you'll get to see the red letters. If not, it'll be in bold. Um, then the Russian meteors. We, I, I used to be a King James Bible only person. And when I defected the King James Bible only, people got mad at me. And they actually built a spaceship that was programmed with the King James Bible. Well, it didn't work and it crashed. And it got reported in the news as Russian meteors. So I've got a chattel chapter titled Russian Meteors where we talk about that and Jesus weighed in on that too. And Vladimir Putin, Vladimir Putin is like the leader of our military and so there's a lot of stuff in here. I have some conversations with Vladimir in here. The Boston Marathon bombings, the news has been totally bad, bad lying about the Boston Marathon. You want to find out what really happened at the Boston Marathon bombings, you got to read this. And Jesus weighed in on that too. So Ludmila Putin, Everybody thinks if you watch the fake news, you think that was the woman that um, that Vladimir married in 1983. Actually, her, her name was Larissa. That's all been covered up. She died in 2000. Jesuits replaced her with a clone named Ludmila. That's all in here. And also Ludmila Putin was behind the Boston Marathon bombings. She's a murderer. News never reported it. It's in here. In fact, that's one of the big reasons that Vladimir divorced her. It's all in here. Jesuit Portal. We've got a chapter titled Jesuit Portal. This was when we actually snooped into the Jesuit Portal with Rule 13's permission. And we found learned some interesting things. And while I was in there, I got the cure to my yeast infection by sucking on a bottle that Zach had made to be an exact replica of his penis. So when I sucked on the bottle, it was like sucking on Zach's penis. And I got him to ejaculate his antibiotic semen into me and cure me of my yeast infection <laughs> and how I did that. That is so funny. This book is actually kind of humorous in some sections. Jesus has got a real sense of humor. Uh, another chapter titled The Antichrist. Okay, then we got the internet, what Jesus thinks about. Jesus actually gave me advice about writing. So any of you writers out there, you might find this interesting. Finances, Jesus gave us advice about finances. Conspiracy law got reinstated and how that happened is all in here. Dentistry, a chapter titled Dentistry. Jesus actually weighs in on how he feels the dental profession has been taken over by Jesuits and his recommendations how to keep dental health going. Culinary arts. I actually made a Thanksgiving dinner for Brent Spiner and Jesus replicated the whole dinner and let my men taste it at Church of Gale and they said it was awesome. That's, in here. That's when uh, Melanie Richards from Gabriel Chana Fox News Channel came over to have dinner with me for Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. The Forbidden Abyss book, I got, I released that and I talk about that. Heaven, did you know my men went to heaven for a couple months? Yes, they were literally there. Jesus put their body into a coma and Brent described, Brent and Terrence described their experiences in this Kindle book. Uh, Jesus is writing Academy. I'm reading the titles to the chapters. Uh, that was when Jesus uh, gave me uh, advice on how to be a better writer. I was kind of getting off on getting off balance in my writings. He was he's very concerned about my writings because I'm apparently a Bible writer as judged by this. Okay, you want to know what then United States Empress, how I became the United States Empress in 2014. That's in here. And Jesus weighed in on that. Basically, he told my men to decide who they wanted to be Empress. 
Uh, Robin Williams. Oh, what really happened to Robin Williams? And did you know that Robin Williams spoke to us from heaven? That's all in here. And how he really died, that's all in here. Of course, I've got a book of, uh, about that called The Shimmering Sea. But, uh, but the transcripts that I used to write that book are in here. Conversations I had with Jesus. And what's not in that book is that Brent Spiner, I mean, me, Jane Agney, and Robin Williams, he actually spoke to me from heaven for a while. Jesus led him right after he died. And he told us what really happened to him. And that's all in here. And Jesus later verified that that was the real Robin that spoke to me. So if you want to hear from Robin Williams' point of view, what really happened to him when he got murdered, he spoke to me from heaven. It's in here. It's in this. Uh, Senshi and Tacos and Burritos. In uh, 2015, we had an incident where Zach Knight was going to launch a pukaki. That's this bomb that puts out a bunch of Mexican poop, like a tidal wave. He created this bomb that was a pukaki over Mexico, and we tried to save Mexico, and the bomb ended up turning into sentient tacos and burritos. And this huge taco and burrito was chasing my men. They had to go through the sun to save themselves, and that kind of fried the huge taco and burrito, and then they all ended up living on the moon. That's all in here. I know this seems crazy, but I'm telling you, the news is not letting you know this stuff. And the reason it seems crazy is because the news is covering all this stuff up. It's really, really happened. That's when, have you noticed when you read the book of Revelation, all sorts of strange creatures are coming up? Well, Jesus said that I and my men are going through what the tribulation saints will be going through, which is why I call this Bible for tribulation saints. Jesuit dog bite scale. Uh, that's in here. Brain control delusions. I talk about, uh, we have a discussion with um, uh, Jesus Christ about how brain control actually made me believe I was allergic to a whole bunch of stuff when I wasn't. And he said, Gail, that's brain control. Um, lightning bolts. I talk about uh, using my lightning bolt powers on Zack Knight. Sarah Avery's black hole. Now, this should be reported on the news. There was an obese woman who was so big that you needed Google Earth to see her. I mean, she was so big that when she pooped, she had to sit on a volcano to poop. And she was because she was so condensed, she was in danger of creating a black hole. And Jesus advised me to get our scientists in on this. So, you know, Jesus weighed in on this. So, and the scientific discussions on all that that's in here. And Terrence Jenkins, he's a genius. So that's all in here. Um, Jesus orders a rap video. Jesus ordered me to make a rap video when I was spending money, like I had the hood mentality from Ice Cube. And all that's in here. Um, charming psychopath. Uh, one of my followers was actually a psychopath, and we found out. And he was faking like a Gabriel Tana Fox News reporter, and Jesus kind of weighed in on that. Um, Satan Stooge. We have an, an, we had an incident where Zach Knight actually showed up at our Valentine's party and knocked all the tables over and then shot a cat in the face and then took off. Uh, we found out later that he did that because Satan was getting on him because he loved Rule 13, and he was trying to prove to Satan that he was still worthy to be an evil antichrist. So anyways, that's in there. The Gale Commandments. Um, I started believing that I was uh, allergic to just about everything. And Jesus said the Jesuits wanted to get me to the point where I, where I would think that the only thing I could eat was sawdust. And I said, well, Jesus, I would never be dumb enough to go for that. Oh, wait a minute. No, that was earlier. The Gale Commandments is something different. you got to read this. It's, it's all straight in here. The, there were two times when I thought I was allergic. The second time was the worst because Jesus actually gave Brent a vision. And in that vision, Jesus showed where I would be a month later, where I would have been totally taken over with yeast in my nervous system, where I would have been induced to schizophrenia, and I would have gone feral like a cat. And they, and it, it would have really messed up Jesus' plans. So Jesus intervened and said, Gail, you're not allergic to all those things. Here are the Gail commandments. You need to follow this to keep yourself healthy. And so I followed the Gale commandments, and that resulted in this Gale shield showing up and getting strong. And then it, we had a battle with Angelina Ballerina. Actually, Angelina Ballerina then got our Sarah Cocky. She almost wiped out the planet. That's all in here. And the final battle with, with, me, with me and Zach against Angelina, where she, had, she launched a bomb onto Earth that had the power to destroy the universe three times over. And I, that's a nut. That should have been reported on the news. It's in here. Okay. 
And then there was a Donald Trump rally where she showed. Anyways, it's all in here. The book's available at Kindle. Paperback will be out in about a couple of weeks, but it's a lot more expensive. So the Kindle's the deal.